the stakes are high with this one. Basically, I got a show in two days. I'm gonna be playing some tracks on CDJs and I said, let's just make a song. I'm gonna make a song that I'll play in the club. And I did because here's that track. Hopefully this doesn't fail, but whatever I end up making will play in the club. And uh, yeah, I basically got a, you know, like 12 hours because it's getting late here. I kind of wanted to sketch the idea and then maybe do some arrangement tomorrow, day before the show. So let's go ahead and get into it. Literally have nothing um, minus some uh, chords that I got off of Splice. So I'm gonna go into a flex track. And this is the little chord sample here that I really liked. I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. I'll, you don't need to see this part, this part's boring. All right, so here we go. I think this is gonna sound super sick. I just need to get some reverb on here. And I have it set to do the ping pong, you know, the classic John Wayne. Listen to that, yo, what slice am I playing right now? I just want that, holy crap, I think we just found it. Let me throw a kick on this. I got everything synced up. Okay, so that's not what I want. So that's gonna be slice 10. So we'll select that here, and I'm gonna make this 64 steps so we can really let it ride out. All right, and then on Syntax, I'll go into track nine, which is the analog kick. I kinda like the default one that it's set up at. Everything's synced up to Ableton Live, just in case I wanna track it up. This is dope. This is the intro right here. Okay, so we got that kind of simple intro pattern. I like that because it's so difficult to kind of find um, a way to, basically you, I end up making a track where it's like this awesome eight bar loop and I have no idea how to get to that eight bar loop and get out of it. So f coming across this weird little ping pong loop sample thing actually helps me a lot. But I'm gonna go to pattern two. We'll paste that and I'm just gonna clear it uh, it's kind of an old habit of mine to do that, to kind of save some of the settings from previous patterns, but on the Octatrack, they all live within the bank. It's more of a digi um, type of thing. Anyway, let's play this back. I like running a little kick. I like that, so here, let's reset that. Dun, dun. All right, we're in C minor, we'll go to 10. I'm gonna turn this into the classic raw, my favorite, and we'll go, oh, also quick note, hold on. I, uh, I work at Electron, that's my day job. I'm just jamming here. Syntax, kind of my synth, my sampler. Been using them for a hot minute. Anyway, back to it, where are we at? Okay, so keyboard fold, we're gonna say C sharp, and we're gonna go to minor. So I'm gonna turn this sustain down. And then we're also gonna get the filter down. Holy crap, I put way too many notes on just this one pattern, but let's see what it sounds like. And then I'm gonna quantize it. Eh, that's okay, that's not at all kind of the vibe I was going for. There's, this is way too complicated of a pattern for me. So we'll set this to 32 steps. Reset it. All right, that's decent. We'll save that again. I'm gonna clear that out. And instead of just going straight to record, let me jam it a little bit. Done. And we'll even
even go to that last note here and turn on the portamento. That's cool. And our amp, so essentially what's happening right now is that these notes are just being held and that's gonna be way too loud in a club. So I need to have a little bit of uh, control over this and I'm gonna use the sustain all the way down, but then I'm gonna turn the decay up a little bit. That way they, they hold for a little bit, but then eventually they kind of disappear. Can I turn this? So this is C sharp. What if I turn this into this and that'll not trigger it? There it is. All right. And then I can grab this parameter lock this, bring it up. resonance yeah that's cool and then uh, yeah that's fine this is on the analog one I wish it was on the digital one because then I have the second filter to kind of really shape this up but this will work for now and then uh, yeah, let's see what else we got was so you can see that this step on the octa track is basically wanting to be on the one. I'm gonna move it to the one, it's okay. I'm gonna paste it here, and I'm just gonna put it right on the grid. That way when we're playing, we're DJing, all that stuff, it kind of lines up a little better. It's more to help the DJ out, AKA myself. So we'll go here and lower this filter. Okay, I accidentally left my Digitact at the office and I wanted to do a lot of more sample based drums using the Digitact, but I'm using Syntac to kind of get me as far as I can, mainly the kick. So I'm probably gonna throw, you know what, let's just do that now instead of just talking about it, right? So let me find, um, I know I have it here. Oh, perfect, it's this one here. So listen, this is gonna uh, probably hurt your ears for a second. Right, so it doesn't line up at all, but this is an easy fix. So I'm gonna go to AED, go to our slices, and I'm gonna just create a slice grid. This is a perfect loop. And we'll do 16 slices aligned to zero crosses. I'll place this here, uh, copy this page here. So now it's gonna sound probably worse, but we have uh, linear locks. So this is just gonna sequentially place those slices. Slice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, there we go. Okay, kind of close, right? I'm gonna take this first page, go to the second page, take this step. I don't like the, so I'm just gonna paste this step on top of that. Now there's this weird bass line. I'm gonna just filter that out using this here, our bass. A little bit of Q. And the Q, I'm gonna just put it on the low pass, low pass set to 24. That's cool, and I wanna give this a little bit of movement. I could use the phaser on here, which is kinda of cool. Actually, that's super cool. Or better yet, what I'll do is I'll do the dark reverb. Very, very subtly, or subtle, I don't know, maybe I'm saying it right, maybe I'm not. Now on the LFO page, we're gonna go and set this to the filter base, um, not the width. So I wanna move the, the two together. Just the tiniest amount. Yeah, two, that's, that's more than enough for me there. And I'm gonna lower this all the way and then just kind of close my eyes and slowly bring it up. I think that's cool there. Yeah, 78, not too bad. Uh, we'll go to track two. What is track two? Sure. Yeah, we'll do that actually. This one will uh, do that, unmute it, randomize this. 
that'll work, but this needs to be way shorter. And way down again. Take out a lot of those lines. All right, that's cool. Uh, track six, this is gonna be our toy. crap out of that. Very high pitch. Same thing, lower this. This is a little too crazy melodic for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear that out. We're going to do something real simple. Let's see if the quantize kind of throws that off at the end. No, that's actually, it actually helped me out in that sense. We'll go back to our uh, base width, push that up higher. And then our amp. All right, that's cool. Now we need like some other vocal sample. This is probably where things get a little dicey. I have a, a folder of acapellas. I've had these for so long. They're just like a bunch of random acapellas from real songs. I'm not releasing this track. I'm just, I just wanted a track to play. So let's just pick something uh, random, sure. Dream to me. I'll select this here. This is on track three. This is how I kind of end up doing vocal samples is I'll find, for example, here, I'll just put it on uh, a trigger on the first step and then again on this next page. When I play this back, I'm going to start moving the start point to find a new sample that I like. Um, or another way to do this is if I go to another scene, I can set the start point of the scene somewhere else find that and then resample that as like this new little clip. So let's see what this ends up sounding like. See, nothing until the very end. But if I push it. That's kind of cool, right? Let's see, we can do better. Let's try another one. We'll do uh, the buzz. That's cool, but I'm going to go to our amp and turn that down a bit. And I'm going to have it hold for eight steps. And then our de delay, I've done this in a couple videos, but our delay here, let me mute that crazy bell. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I just realized that I was playing that long. I'm going to set this to 128. And I'm going to take it off on the second one. Here our feedback is only set to zero, so it's going to repeat once, but watch. Turn our bass up, so this is just going to be a filter for the delay itself. Alright, I'm going to copy this pattern. We're going to go to this pattern here, and uh, let me just go ahead and paste it. This uh, bass line is okay. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with oil. I'm going to see if I can get this to kind of do... Do I have any other track being sent to the delay? All right. I'm going to sacrifice the delay here, and I'm going to try and do... Our, our bass here, this is going to be really crazy. Basically, there's uh, this chaos. Hold on, I'm like talking and trying to make a track at the same time and I'm like tripping over myself. 
So on the Syntax, you basically just have a global send delay. And uh, I'm gonna try and turn this into a chorus for this bass. Again, this is my heavy influence of Mr. Fingers, Can You Feel It? I love that bass sound that he has in that track. So if we go back to our track here and we send it to the delay, it's really long, but if we turn the time all the way down, right, we can widen this up a little bit, ping pong it maybe. So the delay is not going as fast as I really want it to, but if we go to our effects routing track, I can choose the delay time as a destination. And maybe if I shoot it negative. I need it just the tiniest, tiniest amount. Uh, let's go back to our delay and kind of take some of those lows out. That kind of works. I mean, I'm not really using the delay anywhere else. And if we go back to this track here and I just look at the, its filter. Ah, it's adding that weird like pop sound. And I know that that's coming from this envelope. And if I went in here and just soften that up. Yeah, it's not working. Oh well, abandoned ship. We're gonna go back here, turn our delay to something a little more normal. We'll do like a dotted eighth or something. Sure, that's fine. Okay, so we got this little thing going here. You see, you hear this? This sounds like all right. But when you throw the sample in there, that's when things really start to open up. Watch. It's a totally different vibe. Yeah. Same thing here. I want that bass to be super subtle. But really pop right at the beginning. Okay, cool. So we got this crazy synth here. Let's build another one. We're going to track five, and this time we'll use we'll use toy. I want this to sound kind of wispy and airy, so we're gonna shoot this thing like crazy over to the reverb. Turn our back time up. All right, I'm gonna record that in, but don't judge me, we're gonna fix it. I know I said airy. This is not airy at all. That's fine, we'll quantize that just to help me out. Let's see what another engine sounds like. We'll go to bits. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we'll say LFO. Let's go to the bit reduction. We'll speed that up. say on the very first step we'll launch that and lock it in and basically this LFO I'm gonna copy it page LFO 1 copy it to 2 but we're gonna go over to the filter Oh man, I forgot to resample the thing. We'll grab that right now. Things over here, let's see. That's the downside. You know what I'm gonna do? We gotta find it. We're gonna have to find it manually. So we'll stop this. We'll go look at um, track three, which has this, the point right here, AED. We can zoom in and look at our trim. Right here, let's see. It's a huge sample. Yeah, we'll leave it right there. 
All right, let's kind of uh, take stock and see what we got. We got a... Who knows if we'll continue to use that. Is that Nord on? If the Nord is on, it is on. 13, 14. This is the one where we'll have to throw in this one here. Yes! This will be, this will be tomorrow. Can't stop. I need to get to bed. It's uh, pretty late. So this should be saved. I'm gonna double check everything and I'll see you in the morning. All right, you know what? I lied, I'm on a roll. I need to finish this track now. This, ain't, this can't wait till tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my syntax group, grab everything and then open up the Octa track. And I believe the Nord is here and I'm just gonna track all this in. I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm gonna mute these. Right, we're just gonna grab a little bit of this. I'm gonna go to our mute tracks here. Let me let that ride out a little bit. And then I need to do this one again because I played it a little differently earlier. I did a... Uh, That's a little better. All right, now I'm just grabbing different loops off of the Octa track. Everything that's happening on the Syntax right now doesn't really matter. I'm actually gonna take the kick out so I can kind of give myself a little bit of a visual note. This is only two bars, so I don't need the entire entirety of those tracks, right? And um, I can just go ahead and mute this and wait for this to kind of come back around and then turn up. And then I'm gonna go into that track and I'm just gonna take out, oh. <laughs> and take out that trigger to let that delay kind of hang out. Done, easy. Okay, cool. Now on to arranging it all in uh, Ableton Live. I could play it in, I could pattern, I could do the song mode stuff, but I'm on a time crunch. This is way easier if I just do it in live. All right, first order of business is going to, of course, be setting all these to auto and changing that awful, awful. Why are all my Ableton colors so ugly right now? Okay, fine, there we go. Uh, we'll zoom out a bit, kind of see what we actually got going on. There's nothing here. This track here is the reverb and the delay send. We'll leave that. Our effects block is nothing, uh, this is nothing track, this is nothing. This is the analog bass, this is the analog kick. Um, we can get rid of all that. Um, and you know what, I might as well just get rid of their tracks while I'm at it. I don't think I'm gonna be going back. Famous last words, of course. So long story short, everything is kind of everywhere all at once. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and subtract that, grab this over and move it over here. This is our main pattern that we're gonna be working with. We do have some tail ends here that I can use and I'm actually going to maybe use that just to be safe. The tail ends are basically when uh, the track stops, there's some reverb and the, and the delay that kind of happens. And the downside that I find sometimes recording like this is that this reverb and delay send, I often forget to copy and paste with everything. As you can just see, I just did. So you know what, we're just gonna get rid of it and I'll add delay and reverb later. So um, next up we got this little, Thing here, I think I grabbed that here. Yep, all our tracks are bumping. Sweet, we'll do this, get rid of this. 
Our octatrack is here. We can take this little section here and then this little section here. And I'll take this section here. We'll put this here. I'm going to get rid of all this. Boom, bam, and done. So that's cool. Oh, this is the one with the tail end. I want the one with the tail end. So I'm just going to duplicate this. We're going to go ahead and put this here. I'll put this here. We'll delete this, grab all this. And then the Nord, the Nord is a special one. There's two different Nords. I'm gonna use them both. That'll be for the scholars, right? They won't even notice the tiny minute differences in my bad playing until way later. So now we got this and sweet, we're good to go. So I'm gonna grab all of this and move it way over. And now I just need to build the intro. So the kick of course is gonna come in at the very beginning. Oh, let me go ahead and turn all this stuff off too, just so I don't start triggering other things. Awesome, and then uh, track three, let's see what all this stuff sounds like. Track five, we do not need this. This is gonna be the synth. And then track six is also another synth, so we can let that stuff kind of hide. Um, but what I do want is this octa track. I think that's cool. That actually adds a lot. What if we took this out? That's kind of cool. This will work for the intro. We'll play this and then we'll bring that clap part back in, right? So, yeah, that works for me, right? This is the, the problem with, or I guess sometimes the issue with using DJ tracks like on Spotify is that there's such a long intro and that can be very boring for somebody to listen to until they get to the meat of your track. So I, I personally kind of like making the like Spotify radio edits, right? Kind of old school style. Okay, so that's that, that's our bass. Man, that's all our drum elements. We're gonna need more than that. But, um, okay, cool. So we got all that, that's fine. And I'm gonna insert some time here. So during this little section here, I kinda wanna build it up even more, but I don't have a lot to work with. So I'm just gonna open up another track, go into my samples here, samples from Mars, these are all great. And uh, they have the HH in here, HHA. Yeah, that's the one, there it is, cool. So we see this here, it's a little off, we'll put it here. I'm gonna chop this off and then give it a little bit of a fade, grab this, one, two, three, boom, dun, dun, grab this, command J, dupl or consolidate that. It's way too loud, I'll go to minus 20, bring it up a little bit. Yep, that's cool. Grab all this here and just duplicate that. Let me grab this section here. So now that this is kind of gone, this is kind of pumping. Another thing we can do to kind of keep it interesting here is kind of do something here in our kick section, right? We'll just push this here a little bit, right? And then on this kick, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the gain just a bit. And I'm gonna recolor this so I can just quickly grab it later. We'll do this, uh, copy that, um, bring this back up. You can see we're rocking two, and then there's this weird three. Don't know why I did that, but we can just go here and delete that. Now we're bumping up to 25, and I wanna get to about here so that I can start bringing in this little breakdown section. So we got our hats, we got this thing, which is, I honestly don't even know at this point. Oh, an up hat, classic. I guess what we can do is add another kind of hi hatty sound right up in here. Like I said, I was gonna regret deleting those syntax tracks, which I now do, but I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Splice and just type in, uh... oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. What am I talking about? I'm just gonna make my own percussion stuff. Why would I do it any other way? Okay, so I'm now, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up, yeah, track one is there. Um, we'll set that to in. Check, check, hello, hello, hello. What's good? What is good, what is good? There I am. All right, cool. So this is dope. I have a wood block, but no stick. So I'm just gonna end up using my knuckle. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see. All 
All right, there's something in there for sure. Let's play that back real quick. I'm just gonna grab one little loop, E, and so here's the other thing. There's two here, two here, and then there's four here. This is the bigger section where I really want something to kind of um, keep us entertained, I guess you can say, right? Um, so we're gonna need some more stuff. I would preferably like to have something kind of in the middle of all this to make it not so mundane. But again, this is just kind of a track that I wanna quickly make so I can play this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and loop this, grab this around, and of course grab the loop that I want, which is right here. Da, 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 da. Now that we have that, I can go ahead and grab this. All right, so one of my favorite things about live is I can just quantize audio. Eh, didn't really work. But what I do want is I want this one to be pulled. So I'm gonna leave those there and I'm gonna just grab this one. Okay, so this is a funky one, right? I'm gonna go ahead and see if I kind of landed on something a little better over here. Okay, I think this one right here between three and four was my best take. And same thing, I'm gonna leave that one there, but I'm gonna pull this one. Out. Leave this one here and pull these two early. And move this one over a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. Put a little block here and just drag this out of the way. Awesome, so I can really work on this sound because you can hear it's like way back there. I'll throw an EQ8 on it. Push that up, put a little compressor on there to kind of catch the cues. You can see there's nothing going into this. So we'll turn the gain up. Oh, you can hear there's like this weird little rhythm in there. That's actually kind of cool. Um, that's way in the background though. So I just want to grab it just a little bit. That's cool, and I'm gonna take a lot of the lows out. And we'll throw this into a little more reverb. Whoa, not this one, jeez. Oh, I guess that was the one, what the heck? It looks so different now. <laughs> that tripped me out. Uh, okay. Uh, Pre-delay, let's do a 150 and then decay really low. Yeah, that's cool, I'm done with that. Okay, cool, and then on top of this, you know what we'll do? We'll bring, let's see how this sounds. Forgive this whole part. This is the why I tell you arranging is boring. Let me listen to this through really quick. Okay, cool, so I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this and put it here at the very end, and I'm gonna create silence here, right, command I, and this is gonna give me the room that I need to really push this um, entire part into the, into the main loop that we had going a little bit ago. Um, I can bring this part in too if I really wanted, uh, right here during the breakdown, I think that would be cool. Let me just try the breakdown without any of this uh, kick drum, without the up hat, We'll let the shaker, or the, actually a shaker would be kind of tight in here. We'll let the wood block go and stay in. We'll let this stay in. So let's see where we're at. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is cool. Um, yo, what the heck? I completely forgot the main part of all of this, which is the, the chord chop, right? Oh, I forgot the other chord chop. All right, so for this other chord chop, I can just go and track this in. That's gonna be on pattern one, track one, and we'll go here, and let me make sure I have this set to be kind of low, and we'll turn the cue up a little bit um, for just that and low pass there. Okay, awesome. Sweet, this is really gonna help kind of tie it in. Let me move this out of the way just so I don't mess that up. Turn the ERM back on and let's grab this real quick. Dun, dun, dun. 
There we go. Now we got some movement. Yes, this is exactly what we needed. And I'm opening this filter almost a little too fast, but I can adjust that again with an auto filter. Yo, this is the move. And here comes the wood block. Awesome. There's that. Done with you, my friend. And now that we got this last little part, I can just duplicate that here and then jump into this new chord chop. So if we play this. Awesome. Dope. Let's go ahead and zoom into here. You can see that the Octatrack track is a little late. Uh, how do I want to fix this? I don't want to fix it too much because it's going to throw the rest of the track off. But in this one particular instance, we can really hear it. So what I'm going to do is kind of cheat the system and we're going to grab this part here, push that over so that it's right on the money here, right? It's kind of hard to see, but it's basically on the money here. But how do we fix this gap? We're going to drag this over and then just cross fade these two points in. I've had to do this before. Essentially my ERM might be a little off or the trigger might be off. Um, Overbridge timing might be off. There's a million things that it could be. Let's see. There we go. Just for that one, right? And the other thing I need to add is a little crash. So Command F, C R A S H. This might be kind of cool. I know it's very aggressive right now. But if we go into here, turn warp off, zoom in. I want to take this first little half off of it. Line that up. Oh, that's going to be way too loud. I just saved your hearing as mainly my hearing. There it is. My favorite thing to do. Cut off that. We'll push this right here. Add a delay. Set the delay to a fourth. Go ahead, push this here. Oh, we need to set this to an eighth. Whoops. Yeah, that's cool. I want a little bit more tail in there. Let's do this. Drag that. And we'll we'll soften that up with again another little reverb. Reverb's your friend, my friends. And it's still a little too loud. We'll bring that down. Oh, careful. So I grabbed that in a weird spot. You probably saw that. I'm gonna go ahead and consolidate this. Yes, I know I did that little weird loop thing there, but whatever, I'm in it to win it with these little low key weird trippy things. So we'll go here, duplicate this. Um, we'll grab all this stuff here, right? We can let this continue over. Um, we'll grab this Octatrack here and Let's bring it back, right? Let's let's keep this energy high. We got some good energy right now. We'll uh, copy this. And originally, I would like to keep this pretty big of a break, but you know, we're gonna be grooving. The night's gonna be kind of moving. It's a short set, 45 minutes. Let's make a little edit just for that. So we're here. We, d we haven't even brought the bass in yet or any synthesizer. So we went from no material to too much material real fast. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into an auto filter and I am going to open this up, hit a grab our filter. It's going to be full blast. And then right when this stuff kind of comes back in right around here, right? The kicks here. Oh man. Yeah. We're, we're pushing it real fast. So let's see what this sounds like here. Still too high. Still too high. That's cool. I'm going to go ahead and push this a little bit so we can ease out of this point and drop into this one a little hard. Um, I think 10 was our base, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, so we'll put that here, put that here. Put this here and see if there's any way that we can bring this in without uh, going a little too crazy, right? So there's two notes here. Holding down command and bringing that over, I can kind of grab that there. Let's see if this will work. Um, Yeah, that kind of works. We need this uh, this little vocal track in here again. And then this is where we can really loop this a bit. Oh man, this is gonna feel good. Let that go in, let this go in. And then now this part here, which is supposed to be the, the big drop that we originally wanted, which is no longer there, we can bring that energy back with this open hat. And that's gonna feel really nice. So check this out, we'll drop this in here. This is the bass line. We want to bring it in with some high energy right here. Yeah, there it is. And same with that little uh, brown kick that we have over here. I'm just going to copy this section and paste it here. And I'm actually going to go in here and kind of trip it up a bit more. So we're going to take this kick, take this one here, and I'm going to take this one, duplicate it, and get rid of this one. Move this one over a little bit and turn its gain up a tiny pinch. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get that out and see what that sounds like. Okay, that's fine. Again, you can hear that this uh, does not line up at all, right? Our kicks are here. This hat is over here. This whole section needs to be uh, kind of slipped over this way a little bit. There it is. But again, that poses the problem of, okay, well, now what do we do with the rest of everything, right? So I've slipped this within itself which is fine. And now I can just copy paste that over, but I need to make sure that I don't get too far ahead of myself and make sure I fix all of these because there's been so many tracks where I'll record everything in and I just spend like a day fixing latency issues. And if I don't pinch them now, I'm gonna forever regret it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this crash back in here. Let's see what this sounds like. Nope, don't like the crash there. And we will actually kind of save ourselves some energy to uh, not give it our all because then we'll have nothing left to give, Scotty. Um, so here, let's not give it all that we've got and we'll take this vocal sample out and then let this come in. And while this is doing its thing, we can go back to our filter here and start raising this back up to this point here, which is gonna be the next little breakdown section. So we'll do this. I'll copy this over because this is all stuff that we need. We'll get the wood block out of here, right? Which I believe is this track. Where's my wood block at? Oh, is it this? Oh yeah, we don't need you anymore. So here's another lesson. Name stuff so you don't look like a fool. Awesome. There it comes, right? And now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and I'm gonna name this Shaker and you got it. You know exactly where we're taking this. Uh, oh. Hold on. Way too much stuff just happened at once. I want this to be here. We'll bring this over. Let's see what this part this is. Yeah, that's cool. We're gonna let that sit way back. This you can chill forever. You know what? We're fine without this for right now. We'll bring this in here and I'll put this element here. And then these Nord strings, I'm gonna move these. Forgive this, this is probably sounding really crazy. Um, yeah, that's, that's the move. I kind of like that, uh, 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 uh. kind of gives me that bed squeak vibe, that uh, 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 uh. 
That's kind of tight. Let's see what that sounds like. Oof, that is swamp. I like this little section here in the middle. Yo, that's intense. Yo, that's intense. Let's get the eight on there again. Let's push it. We'll go to four, bring that down. Bring that up. There, and bring that way in the back. Yo, that is tight. I am so into that. All right, we'll go here, we'll loop this section. Everything here looks good. We're gonna go on top of that Nord. We'll take that out, we'll take all this out. Let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, this is cool. We'll duplicate this entire section. And then we got to throw this little uh, crash in here, right? And on top of this, for this crash, we can get another crash. Um, I'll put this in here. We'll zoom in here. And I really just want this back half again. We'll go here, reverse that, get rid of this one. And then I'm gonna put this on there as close as I can. And then what I end up doing is just going in here and kind of cutting that out. And then we'll go into here and say minus 27. Let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, something super subtle, super, super, super subtle. And I'll throw this reverb that we have on the other crash on here. I'll throw an eight on here and we'll push that up. Oh, right, and we gotta bring back our vocal part right here. That's where. Yo, that's when I accidentally hit the little, the little dot on there. I need to fake this, right? Because we didn't record it that long. So I'm just going to do this. Grab a little fade into both of these sections here. That's fine. And then uh, I'm just going to do this across the whole thing because this part's kind of ridiculous. But you can tell that I'm not doing it musically because I don't want people to hear the loop point. I want to mask it within everything. So you can hear there's a couple little pops in there, right? So that's when I just go into here and I'll just go ahead and fade these over each other. So there's one, um, here's another one, and just call it a day, right? And then, sure enough, we can go here. That's fine, and again, this is really loud, so we'll put this at minus 10. During this part, we got this little uh, filter going off the charts. I should have paid attention to that. We'll bring this one down. And then uh, I don't want to copy automation, so I'll turn this off. I'll turn this here. There we go. Okay, cool, so there's a couple of different areas I can go with this, right? There's this breakdown that's kind of building up, filtering down, the bass comes in, or I can say, let's go full wild style, take this stuff out, the percussive elements, right? And then our, um, our shaker, I'm gonna put a utility on there and I can just automate the gain down, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna do that. Hit B, get the pencil tool, boom. Get this line out of here. And then boom, back into everything, right? So we're gonna go back to this little section here. 
with everything. Copy that, and I'm just gonna paste that here. Uh, there's, I still need to add this little crash here. And I can also add this reverse, and then in our bass line section, again, there was two little notes that I might even just want this last one here. Actually, I don't want that at all. I wanna go right here into this where there's no kick. So let's see. Yeah, we'll ride this out for a hot minute, right? We'll grab this section here, add time, grab this section, duplicate this, duplicate this, and then Yeah, now we got this space to bring this in, right? This is what I was talking about. We didn't bring it in too early. Let's see what it sounds like right here with the break or with the drop. Nope, I don't want it there. We'll get rid of that. This is fine. Duplicate that again. Yep, this is cool, this is cool. Drop that out. You know what? I'm not feeling this one. We'll take that part out. And we'll leave these in here still. And the best part here is I can just take this section, duplicate this, take the kick out for a little bit. This is, you can see here, is a giant block of four. Um, I'm just gonna duplicate this, oh, I'm gonna duplicate this again. Right, and we're gonna basically be going straight back into the drop, but I'm gonna go into our automated uh, OctaTrack track here and then bring our filter all the way back. Let me turn this off, my bad. Bring our filter all the way back up, boom, boom. Drop this off here, so as the kick kind of drops out, this starts kind of building up, giving us a little bit more movement throughout the track to kind of, again, push it forward, um, getting us into the final stretch. This is the final stretch here, right? Past the 345, four minute mark. You basically add another little break. Um, then you got your main part here, and then you're just kind of flowing out to about 520. So we got to push it to right here. We're not, we're not far off, so let's keep it going. Dun, 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 dun. And if we really wanted, let's see what this sounds like really quick. Call me crazy. But let me see what it sounds like to just take the sample out. Okay, yeah, call me, please call me crazy. That did not work at all. Um, we will try this though. So I'm just gonna go and grab this little section here and bring this in at the drop, which is the intro sample part. Oh, oh, that does not work at all. I guess the sample staying in during this whole track. And then to kind of keep this moving again, I'm gonna bring in this shaker here. Oh, well actually no, because the vocal part comes in here. And to emphasize that vocal part coming in, I'm gonna take both of these kicks out, but I'm gonna take this one here and kind of put it here a little early. So check this out. Actually, you know what? We can even push these even further. Yeah, there it is. I'm down with that. And I still kind of like that weird little dip that I left in there. Uh, I hit it on accident, but hey, that's the best part about recording stuff, right? You just kind of commit. And then we got... So this is coming up, right? Our little synth part's gonna go out, but we can bring the shaker part in. Get rid of this little part here quickly. Yeah, that's cool. This is here, I'm just gonna start fading this out. Um, this is just our sample. I don't want this to come back in. That synth part, just, just there, that's it. If you missed it, you missed it. Sorry, bud this here and 
yeah, this is the final home stretch right here. Let's see what it sounds like with this little up hat kind of out of here. We'll zoom in in here, take that first kick out. Yeah, so here, let's hear that real quick. Awesome, that actually works out great because it kind of masks the elements kind of coming out, right? I love this smooth transition that we can kind of build with a lot of this. I think we're done. Yeah, we'll leave all this in here. Again, we're just pushing this up to 520. Um, oh boy, what did I just do? My bad, I wanted to create some space. Um, create space, space, and then we're here. And then I want to let this one ride out. We'll grab these here. And then um, I'm going to bring the kicks back in. I know this is going to sound nuts, but we're going to do that. We're going to drop the bass and we're going to let this um, go all the way out. Meh, we'll let it go out to here. And then we'll bring the kick back in with the clap, right? So we've got this little section here. Let's take the clap out. The bass line's gonna drop out. This is slowly fading out. We'll leave this all the way through. I like this sound a lot. Oh, that drops heavy. That's, that's a lot of dropage right there, right? We need to mask that a bit. So we'll grab this crash again. Let's see what this sounds like. That's cool, but let me leave this in because when I'm DJing, I know I'm going to want to hear this over and over and over again um, until this part about here, just to kind of help me mix it. In. Oh, I don't want that part there though. Yeah, that's it there. But uh, yeah, yo, we did it. Thank you so much for coming on this super duper long journey with me. Um, the show's gonna be fun. I can't wait to play this track. This track's gonna be called, um, We Did It. Boom, there it is, because that's exactly what we just did. We did it. I'm gonna save that right now before I forget. That's it, we did it. And uh, yeah, if you wanna support the channel, by all means, I sell some synth merch here, but you kicking it is more than enough. And until next week, my friend, you already know the drill. Share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace. <laughs> the most defeating sound ever. Here, one more time. Yes. Oh, there's no, there's no side chain or nothing on this. I might leave it at that. It's got a vibe, right? We'll see.